everybody. Welcome to another episode of Brick Bus. Today, Mr. Asim and I are going to discuss about what is ROI. So, can you please tell us what is ROI? I thought we were going to discuss it. Okay. Can you? I have this question. A lot of investors have been asking me hmm. about ROI. So, can you tell us a detailed explanation about ROI? Why is it so important? It's not important at all. It is a lot it of investors. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So uh, ROI, which is which stands for uh, return on investments, is okay. very important mm -hmm. because whenever you purchase a property for investment purpose, yeah, your prime goal is to ensure that you are giving what whatever you have invested mm -hmm. should give you a decent amount of returns. Okay. So if you consider the mature markets, mm -hmm. uh, a mature market like New York. Hong Kong, London, uh, you have return on investment somewhere like two to three percent goes up to four percent to mm. five percent max. Uh, Dubai is a very unique market. When you talk about Dubai, Dubai would give you an return on investment which goes from five percent up to seven to eight percent okay. gross and in some cases can give you 10% cross or net both. Uh, so when you want to understand ROI, you have to understand these two basic uh, factors. One is return on investment, which is basically your rent okay. uh, minus all the expense that you incur during that year. And the second is return off investment. Okay. Return off investment is the difference when you purchase a property as a price X mm -hmm. and you sell the same property at a price Y. Okay. So that's the difference between them. Uh, in the expenses that you mentioned for ROI, what are the expenses that you are What do you think are the expenses? The service charges and the, the other maintenance costs okay. that come in. So every property has, you have to pay a service charge every yes. year. That's basically the community management fee. Uh, the other charges are maintenance, annual maintenance that the landlord has to carry on the property. Uh, for example, the um, air conditioning, hmm. if there is a problem with the plumbing. So there are basically uh, preventive maintenance that the landlord has to carry out hmm. in addition to some corrective maintenance that might occur. Uh, the third is if the property is being managed, by an organization like us, yes. then uh, there is a property management fee hmm. that the uh, landlord has to pay, pay. every year. Yes. So these are basically the charges that you pay. Okay, and how do we, for people who don't know, how do we calculate the ROI? So, the people who know, like you, <laughs> might be able to explain it. No, I think you'll explain it better for... No, the... no, for, for, for a change, I want you to explain it. <laughs> Okay, so imagine a property which yeah. uh, you have purchased for one million. Yes. And the annual rent for the same property is eighty k. Mm. Now go for it. So basically, out of the property value, we take the rental, then we'll minus all the expensive. So gross ROI in this case will be. Sorry. The gross ROI in this case will be not sorry. Eight <laughs> percent. It will not be sorry. It will be eight percent because okay. I pro purchase the property for uh, one million. Yes. And you are renting it out for eighty k, yes. so it becomes eight percent. Yes. Right. Yes. Uh, now for the first year, that's going to be different because you have to take out the charges of at least seven percent because you have paid four percent the government uh, the land department fee. Mm. Uh, you have paid two percent to the broker. And one person are the miscellaneous charges that you have to pay for the issuance of title deed, for the registration of that. So around seven person you have to deduct from the first year's rent. Yes. So your first year, the ROI is going to be less. Hmm. And then we calculate, for example, a period of 10 years. So ideally, if you get 80K and that's eight person, your average uh, minus the maintenance charges for the, for the mm. recurring years has to be around seven, 
seven percent, six to seven percent, and for the first year, it's going to be around between five to seven, five to six percent. Okay, and my last question to you would be: uh, Can you explain us a little bit about ROFI? Okay. So, and also, sorry, one more thing: If an investor is looking to purchase a property, should they uh, concentrate more on ROI or ROFI? It's basically a blend of both. Okay. If you're talking about mature markets and you're talking about properties in Dubai, for example, in downtown, in Marina, on the Palm, in areas where the cost of the property because is higher. Of, sorry, because a lot of people who are contacting us now, they mostly focus on ROI. They don't see the ROFI field. Yeah, because, okay, for ROFI, I think it's one of the most fundamental factors of purchasing a property. Because if, for example, consider a period of uh, six to seven years, you are going to, if on an average you are making 7%, mm. then 70% of the price of the property is going to be recovered uh, within those seven years. The rest of the property price is an increment in the price. For example, you buy something for 1.7 million, uh, hypothetically, or, or in this case that we were discussing 1 million, you're buying something for 1 million, you're selling it for 1.5, mm. so that 500,000 goes towards your ROFI, okay. which is the difference between the buying price and the selling price. Mm. Now, one more factor that you have to keep in mind, and this goes to all my international investors and the people who are purchasing properties from other countries. Uh, Dirham has been pegged with dollar for a number of subsequent years since now. So what you get is that the benefit that you have from this is that the fluctuation of dollar, yes. if that is prevalent in the um, country that you're coming from, hmm. or that, that has an impact on the economy where you're coming from, that is not going to impact your investment in Dubai. Okay. So for example, um, uh, if you talk about Pakistan or India or countries like that, you will get around 10% of 7 to 10% increment on that value as well. Yes. Because the devaluation no. is not happening here. Yes. So that is augmenting your investment in Dubai. Hmm. That's the first thing. The second thing is there are no property taxes here directly implemented on uh, the landlords. Hmm. Unless you're going in another domain, that's uh, the hotel apartments and yes. everything. So yes. we'll not consider this. We'll just concentrate on the residential residential, residential properties right now. So there's no property tax on the residential property. Hmm. Uh, there's no taxation. Yes. So in your country, if you invest in, you have to pay a certain amount of tax. tax. Uh, in Dubai, you don't have to pay that amount of tax. Hmm. So hopefully that. Uh, clarifies your queries. Yes, it does. Thank and, you and for And next time, it. next time, uh, <laughs> when when somebody asks you to calculate the I ROI, will. you will not come running to me. No, I definitely will calculate it and give it to them. So I would I, I would suggest everybody who wants now to contact. know about ROI and ROFI, contact Angela. Yes. And ask her to calculate an ROI for you. And I hopeful and I am very certain that she'll do a beautiful job in calculating yes. that and advising you in the best possible interest that you can. Thank you so much for that insightful information. Thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, see you in the next episode.